Good morning campers and welcome to Lotus Operations and in today's video we are going to be attempting to make terracotta pots now the unglazed versions into a water filtration system that you can use to filter muddy dirty water into clean drinking water so let's begin okay guys welcome back to Lotus Operations and as I mentioned before we are going to be attempting to use unglazed terracotta pots as a way to filter dirty water into clean drinking water to where you can then sterilize by either boiling the solar method or iodine tablets or um, you know what however you have a way of sterilizing your own water because even though the water is filtered always consider it dirty and always sterilize if possible by one of those methods so let's begin the process okay guys welcome back and the whole principle behind this as you can see i was testing these pots to make sure they actually bleed through because you do not want glazed terracotta pots let me see if i can get good sunlight you don't want glazed terracotta pots because you want the water to be able to evaporate through the pots and not be trapped in because the whole theory behind this is muddy water goes in the water seeps through the sides condensates down into the next container which will be the larger container here and it will drip into the larger one which will then condensate out into the container you want to drink your water from or into another terracotta pot depending on how many layers you're going to go through so we're going to dump the water in here and we're going to actually create the muddy water and see if it filters through to nice clean water so since we know these work we're going to create our muddy water environment here the water that we don't want to drink and as you can see no water's in here and now i've seen videos like this being done but i don't know if they were manipulating the videos or not so then we're going to stir up our muddy water to create as much grime and stuff as possible as you can see it is muddy and dirty and then we're going to try to grab only on the top because we don't want to introduce mud into our system i got a little bit of mud on it so i need to clean here Shh, don't tell anybody we're going to clean the outside edge here you want to try to keep your pot as clean as possible so now we are going to take and put the muddy water into here and then we're going to get it into here but i'm gonna use another container to get the muddy water into your pots because you don't want to contaminate okay guys uh, one more time empty pot empty pot no water is going in there no dirt is in there now of course if there's any dirt from this here it'll get transferred into the here so we're going to take the muddy water from there, put it into here. This will filter into here. This in theory should be our clean drinking water. We're going to see actually how clear it gets. Okay, muddy water in a different cup. We're going to do, as you can see, I tried not to, as in like with any survival video, you only want to get the top layer of the water if possible. Okay, you don't want a lot of dirt, a lot of trash in there. I'm going to dump this into here. get some more now i would love to dump some river water for y'all but we, this will be the ultimate test because if this comes out clear from here then we know good and well river water will be even better now this will go into here now we'll allow it to condensate and drip down into the other one so let's see how well this actually works current time check is a 122 and remember when doing these videos if these are accurately going to work you do not want any holes in your terracotta pot bottoms you want completely sealed so you can have the ultimate filtration style method and we're going to see exactly how much water we get from one of these into here so we can see if it's actually worth it or not okay it's already been about 10 minutes almost and as you can see the outside is getting wet but it's not dripping down like it's supposed to and we don't have no water dripping down in here yet. So, so far this is not working how it's supposed to unless this pot itself is slightly sealed where it's preventing it from going through. So we're just gonna keep it going and just see from there. Okay guys, it is currently 2.13 and this is almost 45 minutes to an hour into this. And as you can see, the water level has not dropped down any in this. And as you can see, there is no water inside this terracotta pot down here. So this is not a proper method of filtering water. It does not work. The only reasons why, like, as you can see, there's water here, condensating here, but it's not dripping down into the pot. So it's either A, because this is exposed too much, or 
the system does not work. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. If no water appears in, then we know that this is not a way of filtering water. Okay guys, since this is not currently working at the moment, now we are going to attempt to move it to the sunlight to see if that makes any difference on the evaporation purposes and the um, filtration ideal. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna clean this puppy out, the muddy water. We're just gonna put fresh water in it, see if fresh water filters better than muddy water because maybe the dirt is stopping the transfer process and if that is the case, then you can only use river water, top water levels, not muddy, stagnant water. So let's wait and see for about another 15 minutes. Okay, campers, we are back at 240, a little bit more than our time frame that we said. And as we can see, the water levels are still not going down. And as we can see, there is still no water in the bottom of this pan, if you're able to see in here. Actually it is now starting to drip. So maybe it takes a full good hour or so and in the sunlight to drip. So we are going to actually begin to let it sit a little bit longer and see. Okay guys, so, so since it takes a good full hour and being in the sunlight to start dripping, so it doesn't try to filter in through this one because technically I wanted to filter through two of them. But for this video, we're just gonna do one and see how clear it goes. We are going to put this Harry Potter cup in here because this fits in here like this. And then this slides into here as of now like this. So we are going to take this water, drip it into this cup, and we're going to see exactly how much water we get from this amount of water in here when this is done filtering through. And then we will see the difference between the muddy water and the clear water. But in a real survival situation, I would actually have it go through one, two, into a third terracotta pot into a container that would not get absorbed and you would have double the filtration. So we are going to wait and see what happens. Okay, everybody, here is the final round, 327. We started this at 122. So this is literally two hours into this. So let's see how much water we have in two hours. As you can see, the water level really has not gone down. And as you can see in the bottom, in two hours, you can see that this stuff is still dripping. Okay, guys, as you can see in the bottom of this cup here, in two hours, we only got a few drops and that the water itself is not crystal clear. So terracotta pots are not a good way of filtering, filtering a dirty water because they still allow the dirty water to transfer through the pots into your other filter systems. So terracotta pots are not the best filtration system for survival purposes. Stick with activated charcoal and stick with other filtration purposes. Lotus operations out. Okay, guys, welcome back. So as I y'all saw before, the muddy water did not work. And I think it's because the entire bottom of the pot was full of dirt and mud. So it allowed it to go too slow of a process of actually filtering through. So what I want to try now for the second part of the video is try just regular clear water. So in theory, this is simulating us grabbing the top of river water in which will not be collecting the mud like I did from here, even though I tried to only grab the top of the water. So we are going to see how fast this filter through. We're going to give this like um, a couple hours and see exactly how much water coming through. And then we'll know for sure if this is actually a successful project or not before I jump to conclusions. Okay, all the situations are the same. We got the water simulating the river water. We got the terracotta pot here. We have our plastic cup here to collect the water so it doesn't absorb into this container. And we have this container here to help trap the heat inside here to help the condensation process from here transfer faster into here. So let's see in a two hour process. So we will come back at 5.30 to check on this to see how much water it is in there. Okay, campers, and welcome back. And it is currently 4.35 in the afternoon. And let's see exactly, as you can see, our water levels is slightly dropped. Now, I know we're going to lose some due to the evaporation here. So we're going to take that into calculation. But let's see exactly how much water we have in the bottom. As you can see, as soon as I touch that down, the water is starting to drain. So you know it's going through the chamber. But here, we still barely have any water in the bottom. So at two hours, basically you're not even gonna get a sip of water. So the terracotta pots work, but they are not efficient enough to actually, I would recommend use in a survival situation. Okay guys, well, as you can see from the video that the terracotta pots do filter out your water, but unfortunately they allow the dirty water to travel through the pots or the dirt within the pots actually travel through when the water's filtering through, allowing your next batch of water to get dirty. So. In reality, yes, they do work, 
but I would not recommend using them as a survival tool to collect fresh water to drink unless you have no other option. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So we see that terracotta pots do work, but they don't work, but they're too slow of a process because in two hours, you're only gonna get a, a sip of water, which is not enough to survive on. So um, find better methods, use the methods I taught you before, which is the activated charcoal filters. You can get more water through it at a better rate or find like survival straws or boil your water, allow your water to settle and boil it, filter it out that way because terracotta pots are not the most efficient way to collect water, but they do work if you have days, weeks, months to be able to spare to slowly filter your water through. So a lot of stop operations out, have fun now.